and away we go. We've gone away. <laughs> Another two drink minimum. Did we start already? Yeah, we just started. You have to stop and start again. Why? I'm not ready for that. Okay. Another two drink minimum. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> what do we have here? Here's some fine champagne. Champagne. This is firstly to celebrate your homecoming. Mm. So cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to Two Drink Minimum. Uh, and the frozen tundra of Chicago. Yeah, the Chiberia. Mm -hmm. Not so frozen anymore, though. No, now everything is melting. Yeah. It's been a long January. Recording several episodes mm -hmm. without you. Your, your solo project. My side project, yeah. which has not been nearly as fun. I think it has. They've been great videos. I mean, entertaining. I missed my I sidekick. Who says that I'm your sidekick? Maybe you're my sidekick. You're the Batman and I'm the Robin. I do have all the toys. You have all the toys, <laughs> and I just ride in the passenger seat and admire the Batmobile. Right. You're the, you're the orphan that... I picked up and have inappropriate relationships Let's with. Let's stop that before <laughs> it goes too far. All right. <laughs> Vintage 2012, and they call it. Uh, we had the nice lady from Google Translate <laughs> say it for yeah. us. Good luck. I still can't say it as well as she, we'll but we'll it's Google Translate. Yvor et Abiam. And it means black and white, ebony and ivory. Do you remember the song? No. It's I Paul, know what you're talking about. Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder will probably dub that song over this. No, because copyright strikes and all that bullshit. Ebony and ivory live together in perfect harmony. Anyway, it harkens to the blend of the grapes and champagne. Which, as you remember, is Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Meunier, and this is 50% the white grape, i.e. Chardonnay, and the other 50% is equal parts the two black grapes. So they call it black and white, and I think it's delicious. It's very fresh, I would say. Yeah. Lighter bodied, light on its feet for champagne. Would it's you like say a... that it's dry or sweet? I would say that it is pretty balanced. Very nicely balanced, texturally mm -hmm. delicious. Yeah, it pops on the tongue. Very popping on the tongue. A lot of citrus, a lot of apple. Not as weighty or yeasty. Not a lot of autolytic character. Um, aged only 48 months on the lees, which is young. It's just a baby. Just a little baby champagne. But uh, I was fortunate to buy this for like... 50 bucks, um, and for a vintage champagne, that's a real good deal. So shout out to John, who's definitely not watching this, <laughs> who encouraged me to buy it. I'll probably buy some more, because I like it, and you yeah, like it just agree. okay. Yeah. As a side note, I did open this whilst you were away. Oh, so I get left over? I'd say several days ago. The thing, One of the things I like about champagne bubbles in particular is that it does hold up pretty well in the fridge for a few days, as long as you have a good stopper. Uh, better than the average white wine or red wine. So, yeah, it's a little leftovery, but I didn't notice. Did you? No. It's kept well. You, you did great with storing it. Thanks. What do you have here? Here we have a plate of sushi, which is my favorite food. And we had a lovely, spontaneous sushi date today and got one to go because we knew we'd be hungry later. Mm -hmm. And we have leftover wings. Mm -hmm. 
and stew and potato chips. And popcorn. Plenty of popcorn in the pantry, but uh, we wanted something a little more sustained for a late night snack. So I'm going to dig in. Why don't you tell me and the nice people, all dozen <laughs> that are watching, <laughs> if we're lucky. The studio audience. Yeah, our studio audience. Yeah. Where have you been this week and what it was like there? I was in Philadelphia for, for work. Mm. That went well. Did you see Rocky Balboa? No, I did not. It was actually, other than my flight being canceled to come back to Chicago because of the cold and having to spend an extra day in Philly, completely uneventful. It was a very boring trip, the highlight of which was probably visiting the Wawa right across the street. Did you say Wawa? Wawa. That's the name of the place. Okay. It's kind of like a... A white hen pantry, if you remember those, uh -huh. right? But with like a full deli and coffee bar. Ooh, very fancy. And you place your orders on these tablets like everywhere else now. And wow. Yeah. I mean, We've can, come so far in convenience stores. You can get burritos. You can get sandwiches. It's just you mentioned junk food paradise. One of said sandwiches had. No, that was a different one. Oh. Yeah. You had no, an the, avocado At the experience. Sheraton Club. Um, had an avocado spread on it. I didn't die, but I wouldn't. It's not my favorite. You don't but when you're hungry, you'll eat anything. Speaking of you eating anything, mm -hmm. why don't you have a go at one of these here well, spicy tuna rolls? Which one's which? This one is the Ocean Drive, which is tuna and your favorite avocado, as you just mentioned, with some jalapeno and cilantro. Jalapeno. And this one? And this one is just good old-fashioned spicy tuna roll. I don't like spicy. Okay. This one is less spicy. This one is? Yeah. I don't and believe you. There's only it says, one. You call this one a spicy tuna roll, tuna roll. And what's this one called? This is Ocean Drive. Ocean Drive. There's nothing spicy about Ocean Drive in the name. Well, I subbed jalapeno for green bell pepper in this Why would roll. you do that? Because green bell pepper... Is delicious. And nutritious. The pyrazines. So this one's less spicy? Just have one of these. This is the experiment, the food and wine pairing topic du jour. Well, so does it matter what I'm drinking? Which well, one? you have two different wines in front of you. One is the champagne we've already discussed. Mm -hmm. And the other one is my traditional go-to pairing for sushi, which you should have the sushi and take a sip of. This one? Yeah. This one? Use my fingers like an animal. Well, we can't all be good with the chopper sticks. Yeah. I believe in you. It's just a spicy tuna roll. Mm -hmm. Everyone's had one. It's not that exciting as sushi rolls go, but it's fairly safe. Mm -hmm. I like tuna when it comes to raw fishes. Was it a little spicy? Mm hmm. Why don't you have a sip of that there wine and see how it goes for you? Mmm. Stings the nostrils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little kick, eh? Mmm. So what we're doing now is finding a wine to balance the kick. And the best thing you can do, as we've talked about a number of times on Two Drink Minimum, is a little bit what? Water. <laughs> I feel like I'm on an episode of Hot Ones. <laughs> it was sushi <laughs> and really shitty, like, support staff. Because there literally isn't that anyone. That might be the, the next segment. It'll be just like that. It'll be hotter and hotter sushi rolls. You can have a sip of water if you like. It's but spicy. What does the, the wine do for you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> All I taste is the spice. All it does is spread the spice around even more. Okay, have a sip of the wine. Again. Okay, the water isn't going to do anything for you, so. It's better than the wine. For the spice. You're ruining this entire episode with your shitty attitude. You blew it! <laughs> oh, shitty attitude is just spicy, that's all. The right wine? Now. And everyone knows that I don't like spice. 
Nothing still? It's okay. What is you? What is your impression? It's just okay. I don't know. It is it just tastes... okay, the wine. I agree. It's not a high caliber wine, but what... It tastes like white wine. You're missing the key component. You have to tell me that, because all I taste is spice right now. Is it dry wine? No, it's liquid. What do we always talk about with spicy foods for wine? Sweet. Pairing? This is a semi-sweet Riesling. Emphasis on the semi. <laughs> From Washington, that's very inexpensive, very accessible. You will find it on every shelf in every grocery store and wine shop and gas station. I'm not going to name it because I'm not necessarily endorsing it at this time. You're giving me gas station wine? But I buy a case of it at a time when it's wait, on wait, sale wait, wait, for wait. five ninety nine a bottle. I take you out for a nice sushi dinner. I did. And you give me gas station wine. <laughs> this is gas station wine. Huh. But huh. this is my house. Everybody has a staple in their house of something. Some people have milk. Some people have eggs. And yours is gas station wine. Mine is Chateau St. Michel Riesling. Columbia Valley. <laughs> this one is 2016. And it's just fine. Riesling is high acid, and when you leave some residual sugar, it makes a very easy drinking, very food friendly wine. Mm -hmm. And it's my go to for sushi. Sushi, pumping gas, apparently. Take out Chinese on mm -hmm. the first or second day, mm -hmm. as we've discussed mm -hmm. before. Take out Thai, mm -hmm. really any food whatsoever. Something to dump on the windshield and then scrub the salt off with. Because, you know, gas station wine. <clears throat> While the guy. He's like, hey, want me to check the oil? Check uh, under the hood? It's an electric car. It doesn't have oil. <laughs> Speaking of the electric car, yeah. let's talk about what happened to the Ford Tesla while it was sitting out at the parking garage at O'Hare well, really while cold. you partied in Philadelphia. Party. It was driving. Um, it was cold, so, you know, the battery was not so great. If, if there's one thing that's the Achilles heel of any electric car, it's going to be the battery. And cold weather kills the battery. So what happened while it was charged? I mean, it loses charge. Um, nice job. That's exactly what I told you would happen. And it happened. Soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't say anything now, can you? Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, battery drained a little bit. It was enough still to get there, get home, and still have, you know, plenty of range. If there's one thing that um, look forward to in the future for electric cars would be better battery chemistry, which they're already working on. I mean, it's still, it's amazing, but something to be aware of. Not, not foolproof. The other thing I saw today, too, was people complaining about the door handles. You know how you push them it's in? They get frozen. They get frozen. So people are like, oh, I can't open the car. It's not that hard. You just push it. Or you just do bang, that real quick on it. You just make sure that it's warmed up before you get in it. That's well, what we've learned. Yeah, I mean, you do that, but sometimes it won't you know, warm up enough for the handle to come out. So. I learned today, a bit accidentally, that you can't lock yourself out of the Tesla when your phone is the key. Because if you dropped your phone on the floor of the passenger seat... <clears throat> And you need to get back into it after your spouse has parked the car and locked it. You can still get into it, easy access. So good to know that if I lock my phone in the car and walk away from it, I can get back in. What are you talking about? I left my phone in the car. Today? Yeah. I mean, after dinner? Yeah. Oh. This is not a surprise to anyone. I lose shit. All the time. All the time. Yeah, where's the... I'm not doing that. <laughs> Why don't you have this other roll here? It's is honestly... it spicier than that one? No. Actually, so this, you is, lied to me. this is really tame. This, the cilantro, there's a tiny bit of jalapeno. Spicy tuna is spicy tuna. What you should do is have... You don't like ginger, though, either. It's okay. No. The best. Really, the ginger on the plate is what makes the whole orchestra come together with the Riesling. However, when I had this, mm -hmm. 
with a little soy and the sip of champagne, it was delightful. Okay. For science. For Thank the... you so much. Oh, look. Bonus uh, cilantro. Yeah, a little cilantro in there. Mm -hmm. Other wines that are great with sushi, because a lot of the places are BYOB. Of course, we have to talk about dry rosé. Do we? I'm really sick of talking about dry rosé on this podcast, but it's a great food wine, great sushi wine, light on its feet, refreshing, a little bit sweet sometimes, but very fruity, very pleasant. Take a sip of the champagne. Now, do it! Um, Lighter-bodied red wine, light-bodied, you know, Pinot from Oregon, or maybe New Zealand is fine for sushi, but for me, it's always bubbles, off-dry Riesling, sake, of course, and... Gewürztraminer. And my go-to right now, kiddos, is this delicious, most fantastic, single vineyard, McMinnville, ADA, Washington, uh, excuse me, Oregon. Um, this is 2017, and it is a sleeper pick for me. This Highland Estates makes fantastic wines in Oregon. Riesling, Gerstermeiner, Pinot, Chardonnay, fantastic across the board. Single vineyard diverts. You've been to Oregon. Have you been in this one? I've never been to Oregon wine country. Where, where'd you go? Seattle. Or I've been to Washington, Washington wine country. Yeah. Oregon is far more akin to Alsace in France with the mountains and the ocean and the rain shadow. And stuff so rain shadow yeah it's look it up is it like a brain cloud it's like my brain cloud <laughs> what is that joe versus the volcano joe versus the, the brain cloud brain cloud i knew it well i, I didn't know it but i knew it that was classic, not spicy at all classic tom hanks my brain not the best of the Duos but it's Tom Hanks. It's fine. Has he ever been in anything that you wouldn't watch? No. No. That was not spicy. That's not as spicy as the spicy tuna, no. but it's because you probably didn't get a big chunk of jalapeno. Mm. Did you like it with the champagne? Yeah, it was okay. But I'm hungry, so. Anyway, <clears throat> Highland Estates from Oregon, job well done. The Gewürztraminer in particular is my newest, most favoritest food wine. We had it with Thanksgiving, I believe, if I remember. I had a lot of wine on Thanksgiving. But I've had it a few times since, and absolutely delicious. And for quite a value, it's only like 14 15 bucks. So pick this up if you can find it. Reverts, Riesling, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, all great. So you have a good wine there, and you make me drink gas station wine. I didn't open this today, because... We're already well into two drink minimum territory, and I'm not going to chug this because it's too good. It's it's better than my state of affairs at the moment. Instead, we're having this, and look, don't call it gas station wine. I'm not being call a, a gas station wine. jerk about Chateau St. Michel Riesling. It's good stuff. It's fine. It's solid. It's a staple. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I buy it. Everyone knows. Buy the case. For $5.99, $6.99, $8.99 a bottle, because it's just worth keeping around the house all the time for everything. It's also our... It's cooking wine? Step-grandmother favorite wine. And we showed this at our Easter podcast, actually, with our special guest, Arthur and Jen. Mm -hmm. I have it all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying it's gas station wine. Just saying, I'm saying you can find it everywhere because they make like 140 gazillion cases. You know what? They sell Coke and Pepsi at gas stations. And that's good. And I like that. Yeah, that's yeah. gas station soda. That's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's fine. You're saying that you like the Ocean Drive roll. I actually like them both. I mean, this is definitely, which one's that? The spicy tuna roll? Definitely spicy. That one, just, there was no spice on it. But I, you know what I liked better than either of these was the thing that we had at dinner with the crunchy. Oh, yeah. What was it? was like crispy rice. Oh, so good. But it was the same spicy tuna on the top. It was spicy tuna, 
and uh, crispy rice and a little spicy wasabi mayo mm. that it we scraped good. off for you with a little tobiko on you know, the top. I, I think it was the um, the texture though, because the crispy. The, the crispy rice at the bottom was just fantastic. Yeah, it was really good. And then you had uh, this is Shaku in Barrington. Great. Stuff. Another location is in Arlington Heights, Illinois. We love this place mm-hmm. for sushi and really all kinds of Asian fusion. Mm-hmm. You had a short rib today. Oh, it was good. Ginger, soy, short rib. With sesame and sesame, roasted vegetables. Roasted vegetables and rice. Oh, it was so good. And it was plated so well. It was beautiful. Served on the bone. We're oh. going to show you some pictures, and we're sorry that this isn't scratch and sniff. I mean, you could scratch your monitor if you wanted to. What is it's like clockwork every single meal. I don't know how you do it. Look, I want you to eat that. <laughs> eat that soy sauce. I'll give you I'll give you a dollar. Everybody's watching. Yeah. Well, you gave me gas station wine and you have to eat that. You're a child. <laughs> You're an absolute child. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Are you drunk? <laughs> How much have you had to drink today? At least two. At least two, yeah. Cheers. <sighs> All right, well, for science, I'll have another one. That one's way too big. That one I feel like is going to be way spicier. That's what she said. What? That doesn't make any sense. A little bit of soy. I thought you didn't even like it. I'm hungry. <laughs> Lay off me, I'm starving. I want food. I'm so hungry. Do you know what would be really good with both of these ones? Hmm? Popcorn? And potato chips. Mm. Do we have any potato chips? I do have some potato chips, actually. Do you? Do you want to make some magic happen and I'll get them? No. Well, I'm glad that you're back. As fun as it was for me to have a little creative freedom Mm -hmm. and autonomy in my short segments, this vintage barb. Short. Short. (laughs) With varietal and region and theme-specific wine tastings. I had a blast doing those on my own, but it really wasn't the same. Well, I had a blast editing them. Editing them. Yeah. I came and talked with so spicy. Did you have a sip of this? Yes. Did you have a sip of this? No. That'll help. Watch what happens. Ooh. Fizz, 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 fizz. Get that a sip. (laughs) Spicy. Have a piece of ginger. That'll Mm. help too. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Would you like some wasabi peas? No, I'm submitting. Ugh. <laughs> I'm submitting this video. This is going to be exhibit B. Because I'm sure I have other videos. Ugh. What did you do to me? <laughs> okay. I'll get you the potato chips. <sighs> Tomorrow I'm going to make some delicious. If you wake up. <laughs> You wake up, you're gonna be some delicious. Who has evidence now, yeah. friends? Yeah, there's repercussions to what you just did. Would mm. you like to tell our single digit viewers what you think of these two wines as a everyday dude? As an everyday dude? <laughs> well, yeah. as your everyday dude, I think it tastes like wine. This one tastes like champagne. Yeah, this is actually decent. I would drink this. This is, uh, you can't. Do it. Yeah, good job. That's and it says Aubrey. Aubrey. Shine the light just right so that you can't see the label. <laughs> now I have to eat this to get the other spice out of. I don't like you. I don't like you at all right now. You're still eating sushi. To try and get that. She doesn't like me at all. I'm so hungry too. As if you've been starved. Mm-hmm. No, sir. 
Please, sir. I want some more. We'll get some leftover buffalo wild wings mm -hmm. going, roasting. Mm -hmm. There's chips and queso. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should work some magic and you'll have chips and queso in front of you mm -hmm. momentarily. No. This video's gone way too long already. Well, we'll be editing, mm -hmm. obviously. Obviously. Well, you're home next week. Home next week. And maybe we'll have another side-by-side -side video yeah. with you making me eat something I don't like. Like what? KFC or Taco Bell. Any Go of the on. garbage that you eat that I refuse to? Maybe a frozen Jack's pizza? I think that we have just come up with a recurring theme. <laughs> What fast food pairs with what wine? Mm. Classy. Mm -hmm. We'll see how trashy we can get between mm. Taco Bell and White Castle. There's no White Castles on here. We'll find one for mm. science. Yeah. Does Amazon deliver White Castle? Maybe DoorDash. Mm. This video is not sponsored by Amazon or DoorDash. Mm. Although, if you want to give us free deliveries for life... It's called Amazon Prime. It's not free. No. Well, we certainly get our use out of it. I'm not eating that. It's too spicy. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it very much. I'm I... sorry that I wasted two pieces on you in the first place. It tastes good, but it's so spicy. I don't know if I'll wake up. <laughs> I might just go to sleep and not wake up. If that happens, you can have everything. I don't care. My brother's going to have the computers and the games because you won't care about that stuff. Yeah, I guess you get the Tesla and the Volvo. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the bills that go with it. Wah, wah. <laughs> mm. Okay, I think this has been long enough. We should take a break before my face explodes. I'm looking forward to being home with you all week. I'm looking forward to hearing you snore on the couch every day and every night. I have a great job. I get to make my own hours for the most part. I and guess sometimes at least I'll be working a lot. When you get to be my age, you like to take a nice little nap during the day over lunch. Mm-hmm. Oh. I like when you're home. I miss you when you're away. Uh-huh. But I do sleep better. Yeah. There's couches you can sleep in. The dog and I, we're, we claim the bed. It's true. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. That's fine. Let's take it. Let's let's call this call this one. It's been called. What are we going to call this? Barb kills Jeff? <laughs> this, this bullshit spicy tuna? Bullshit spicy tuna presented by Two Drink Minimum. I don't know. To not waking up. <laughs>